Captain Brody Torrance is at an airport in Singapore. Torrance talks to his daughter, Daniela, on the phone. He promises to be with his daughter on New Year's Eve. Daniela teases him and is glad he'll be with her soon. She is sorry they haven't seen each other much in the last few years. Torrance meets his co-pilot, Samuel Deli. They discuss the flight details and see they will travel through a storm. Torrance wants to change the flight path. His boss says no, because the airline, Trailblazer, wants to save money. The head flight attendant, Bonnie, says Torrance is needed in the jetway. He meets a Canadian officer, Knight, who is traveling with a runaway criminal that is being sent back home to Toronto. Officer Knight promises that he will constantly watch the runaway criminal. Knight tells Torrance that the criminal killed someone 15 years ago in Canada. Torrance wants to say no, but he doesn't have a choice. Torrance warns the flight attendants about the criminal on the plane. The passengers and crew prepare for the flight. Torrance welcomes the passengers and they take off. Torrance tells Delhi that the experience of takeoff never gets old. The plane reaches the storm. Torrance and Delhi prepare to fly higher to avoid the storm. Delhi tells Torrance that they've been struck by lightning. Torrance and Delhi try to control the plane. Their radio is dead and there's a system failure. They have 10 minutes to land before they lose power. Bonnie tells the passengers they will be making an emergency landing. Officer Knight drops something and goes to pick it up as it slides down the aisle. He knocks his head and dies. Torrance and Deli get the plane out of the storm. Deli says they have three minutes before they lose power. The plane reaches an island, but they are flying over a jungle and can't find a place to land. Torrance spots a road and manages to land safely. Deli is impressed. Everyone gets off the plane. A flight attendant, Isabella, and Officer Knight are the only ones who died. The Trailblazer headquarters in New York search for Torrance's plane, but can't find it. Torrance tells the passengers the plane was hit by lightning and they can't call for help because there is no power. Stephen Scarsdale arrives at Trailblazer's headquarters. He is a specialist in corporate strategy and crisis management. Scarsdale looks for mercenaries in the area where the plane went down. One of the passengers asks Torrance why they must stay off the plane for so long. Torrance says the plane will be extra hot without air conditioning, and it's better to wait outside in the shade. Torrance talks to the criminal and says he's surprised he stayed with them. The criminal says he's not stupid and won't try to escape into a place he doesn't know while wearing handcuffs. Torrance and Deli try to fix the plane, but are not able to restore power. On the plane, Torrance takes Knight's gun and finds an evidence bag that says the criminal's name is Louis Gaspar. Torrance and Deli figure out where they've landed. Deli tells Torrance that Jolo, the island cluster they've landed on, is dangerous. It has no government or police and is run by separatists and rebels. Torrance changes into a t-shirt and shorts he has in his bag. Torrance tells the passengers where he believes they've landed. 
He explains that he hopes to find a phone at a building he saw. Torrance says Gaspar will be with him. Gaspar is uncuffed and they leave the landing site. A man runs through a village calling for the rebel leader Datu Janmar. The man tells Janmar that a big plane flew very low over his house and landed near the old mine. Janmar's second in command, Hajan, asks if it is an army plane. Janmar says it wasn't the army, as his spy in Manila would have warned him. Janmar orders his men to find the plane. Torrance and Gaspar walk through the jungle. Torrance asks if Gaspar is in the military. Gaspar says he was a commander in the French Foreign Legion while he was on the run. Gaspar leaves Torrance and disappears into the jungle. Deli tries to fix the plane's connection to call for help. He manages to start up power for the plane. Torrance finds an abandoned building. There's a landline phone, but no electrical power. He opens the power box and tries to fix it. A mercenary team is preparing to leave as their leader talks to Scarsdale. The team leader, Shellback, says he's charging Scarsdale extra because no one knows exactly where Flight 119 crash-landed. The team pack a bag full of money as an emergency fund and prepare their guns. Torrance manages to connect the phone. He dials the Trailblazer airline. A phone operator answers the call. Torrance tells her to listen as it's an emergency. He explains who he is and where they made a crash landing. The phone goes dead. Torrance resets the connection and calls Daniela. He says they're in the Jolo Island cluster. They have no radio. As he's speaking, he's attacked by a rebel. The rebel starts choking Torrance, but Torrance manages to choke him unconscious first. Torrance hears a loud bang and hides. Gaspar enters the room and tells Torrance he can come out. Gaspar gives Torrance one of the guns slung over his shoulder. They search through the abandoned building and find an area with a large video camera set up. They look at past videos together. One is a ransom video. The woman in the video says that the rebels will kill them if the money isn't paid. Torrance realizes they are dead and that the same thing will happen if the passengers of Flight 119 are captured. He rushes back to the plane with Gaspar. The passengers hear trucks approaching. It's Janmar and his men. Dali tries to tell the passengers to return, as they don't know who it is. Janmar and his men shoot into the air to scare everyone. The passengers are quiet. Dali tries to reason with Janmar, who orders his men to put cuffs on the passengers. Torrance and Gaspar run to the landing site and stay hidden in the bushes. Torrance tries to save them, but Gaspar stops him and tells him to wait. Hajan asks Bonnie for the passenger list. She gives it to him. He asks where Captain Torrance is, and Delhi says Torrance went looking for help. Hajan realizes that no one knows the passengers are there. Janmar kills a married couple when they try to escape. He tells the passengers to get into the bus the rebels brought with them. Janmar leaves with his new hostages. Two of Janmar's men are left behind to gather valuables from the passengers' bags. Gaspar shoots and kills one of the men. Torrance hits the other and tells him not to move. The rebel speaks English and says Janmar is the one in charge. Torrance asks where the passengers are being held. 
The rebel says they will be taken to a warehouse in Dandulit village. Torrance will not wait by the plane because the passengers are his responsibility. At headquarters, they listen to the recording of Torrance's call to Trailblazer. Scarsdale tells them that Torrance called his daughter and confirmed that they crash landed in the Jolo Island cluster. Scarsdale sends the mercenaries to Jolo. Torrance gets on the plane and desperately flips switches. He realizes that Delhi has restored power to the plane. Torrance finds a map of the island where they've landed. He hears a shot and realizes that Gaspar has killed the rebel. Torrance leaves a message for whoever finds the plane so they'll know the passengers have been taken as hostages. Torrance and Gaspar drive to Dandulit. At headquarters, they locate the plane on Jolo Island using satellite images. They see the plane fully intact and confirm that Torrance is correct. Scarsdale sends the coordinates to the mercenaries who will parachute in, but they'll need help getting everyone out. Hajan forces the passengers he took to stand in a line and say their names and country as they are being recorded. Scarsdale's mercenary group arrives at the landing site. Shalbach has a camera attached to himself and can speak to Scarsdale through an earpiece. They see that the passengers are missing. Shalbach finds Torrance's message. Torrance and Gaspar sneak into Dandulit. The two of them quietly attack the guards around the warehouse. Torrance gets the keys from an unconscious guard and frees the passengers. He checks that everyone is okay and tells the passengers they are returning to the plane. The passengers begin to argue, but he tells them that he managed to get a message out and they need to be with the plane to be rescued. They board the bus. Torrance gives the bus keys to one of the passengers and chooses to stay behind as a distraction. Torrance walks unarmed towards John Mar's men. The rebels take him to Hajan. Torrance wants to speak to John Mar and says he's taking his people home. John Mar tells Torrance that everything and everyone in Jolo belongs to him. Janmar orders Hajan to kill Torrance, but they're stopped by Shalbak and the other mercenaries who rescue the passengers and all of them drive off in the bus. Hajan is killed in the crossfire. Janmar is angry and instructs his men to gather everyone and go to the plane. The passengers arrive at the plane. Torrance tells them there's some power left in the plane and they need to trust him by getting on the plane. They doubt the escape plan at headquarters, but Scarsdale says the passengers are being hunted and there isn't another choice. Terry Hampton, the CEO of Trailblazer, doesn't want Torrance to fly the plane because Hampton will look bad if anything happens to the passengers while on the plane. Scarsdale says they'll die either way, so they need to try. Janmar and his men arrive and start shooting. Shellback tells Torrance it's time to go. The mercenaries and Gaspar kill most of Janmar's men. Gaspar tells Torrance he's not going to get on the flight and stays behind to keep Janmar's men away from the plane. Janmar shoots Torrance in the leg but Torrance keeps running. He limps to the cockpit where Delhi is. They start up the engines. Gaspar runs out of ammunition, and Shellback tells him he can get more in their supplies. While looking for ammo, Gaspar finds the bag of emergency money. He closes the bag, grabs some ammunition, and continues shooting at the rebels. The plane starts moving. Torrance gets on the radio, and asks if anyone is there. They hear him at headquarters. 
Hampton is selfish and tries to say the plane must stay where it is, but Scarsdale talks over him and asks what Torrance needs. He needs directions and a place to land. Torrance tells Shellback and the mercenaries to get on the plane. They all board the plane except for Gaspar, who grabs the bag of money and runs further down the road where he keeps shooting at the rebels. One of the rebels tries to shoot a missile at the plane, but Gaspar kills him. Janmar is furious, but takes cover from Gaspar's gunfire. Janmar grabs the missile launcher and aims it at the plane, but is killed by the front wheels of the plane. The plane takes off, but can't fly very high. Headquarters direct them to another island, Siasi. They leave Jolo and make it just in time as the plane falls apart. They land safely. Emergency services from Siasi arrive to help. The passengers applaud Torrance as he walks out of the cockpit. Torrance tells Delhi it's been an honor flying with him and asks for a moment alone. Bonnie thanks him and they leave. Torrance sits for a few moments on the empty plane. Torrance sees that the passengers he rescued are now safe. He calls Daniela and tells her he's alright, but will be late for New Year's Eve with her.